grateful for my family and the food that we prepared today. people welcome back to my channel welcome to another video this is going to be our thanksgiving dinner come and join us and prepare our thanksgiving 2024 dinner it is my first time making a turkey so cheer me up in the comment section tell me that i did well i hope it turns out well okay but welcome back to my channel before you start this which are watching this video please and please again give it a bra give it a thumbs up i can see that you guys don't give my videos a thumbs up anymore and i think it's because i don't remind you guys to give my videos thumbs up please do give it a thumbs up and join us in the kitchen i'm going to start like i said by priming this and then tomorrow we'll do the full cooking for thanksgiving dinner okay thanksgiving it is a special time of the year thanksgiving canada i think u.s does their own different a week after us it is a time to you know thank god or thank yeah thank god and people in your life for the year so far for the planting season all the way to harvest season i don't know the origin of thanksgiving but i know that's what it is it's about harvest season and thanking god for taking you through the planting season and all the way to a bountiful harvest so we thank god for his goodness for his mercy for his grace and for his love good morning beauties good morning and happy thanksgiving to all my wonderful canadian uh subscribers and family and friends it is another year it is another thanksgiving and i want to thank god for his goodness for his blessing for bringing us to another thanksgiving it is not by chance it is only by the divine grace of god uh, i want to start this morning i'm just making breakfast for the kids uh, let me get them out of the way <laughs> before i start this talking business I have the turkey here. I brined it yesterday and um, I'm going to tackle it today. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I feel I feel apprehensive about turkey. Number one is because I don't like eating turkey mice. Like, I don't know. People go crazy about turkey, especially Nigerian people. But I don't, I'm not a turkey person per se, like cooking and eating turkey. But when other people make turkey, I like it. I've never tried to make it myself, but I'm gonna give it a try, right? You know, you never know until you give something a try. So I'm just making breakfast here. I'm making some hash brown. This hash brown is ticking. Ah, guys, I don't even know if I have enough time to prepare this turkey, but we have to get it going. I am still learning one thing they said that this was seasoned turkey i don't know what that means did it mean that i over season it again let me show you guys i added this is our turkey i added some seasoning uh salt and um like bay leaf and all this and left it to brine so I hope I didn't over brine it all, okay? I don't know what it means when it's seasoned. The, on the package it says seasoned. Does it mean that they already put salt in it? Like a, a nitrate sulfate in it? I don't know what it means. I didn't read that part. So I hope that it's going to be edible. But let me get it out and wash out some of this.
So I have some seasoning. I don't know the uh, my mic was not working, and I didn't even realize until now that I'm editing it. But I have some seasoning, just various seasoning that I always use. You can use your favorite seasoning, and I'm trying to make uh, a pocket inside the skin, guys. I watched a lot of videos on how to make turkey. I am trying to perfect this turkey. So I want to make a um. um create a pocket under the skin where I will, I will mix the butter and this seasoning then I'll put it under the skin to keep the breast moist because the breast is the part that always dries out or tastes bland when you make turkey and then I'll also make incision um, on under the breast that's what I think that's what I'm trying to do here I'll make incision under the breast so that some of that seasoning can go in and um, these are various well, majority of the things that I ended up using to stuff this turkey was just uh, vegetables. Okay, the carrots. Uh, like this is the breading that I bought, but I bought this one that was frozen. I didn't like the feel of it when I opened it. I used a little bit and then I put the, the rest in the garbage. So next time, what I was saying, next time I will buy the breadcrumbs itself and mix it by myself and add it into the turkey so these are majority of the things that i use for stuffing the turkey the carrot uh, some onion some celery and then a little bit of this bread in that i bought so it's a waste of money buying it so if you're making your first turkey please buy the stuffing by yourself don't buy this one that is already mixed even though it tasted good like my son he said he liked it. he said why did i throw it away so maybe i shouldn't have th thrown it away but i think i preferred i just didn't like the way it looked and the way it felt because it was frozen you buy you buy it from frozen but he said it tastes good anyways that's all but man seasoning this turkey okay trying to get everything in it was uh, a marathon it was um it was a lot of mess <laughs> i'm telling you it was a lot of mess but at the end the turkey tasted so good okay it tasted very good even though it didn't look very appetizing um but it tasted very very good so next thing that i'm going to focus on is how to make it taste make it look as good as it tastes i didn't i didn't even get the picture of this turkey when it was done cooking but the seasoning is what i'm putting in there at the end i after so much struggle i was able to get all the seasoning because it's butter so it's very hard to get it in and not stuck one place and because this turkey even though i dried it it was still wet so it was hard for me to get the seasoning with mixed with the butter properly the way i wanted it to be but at the end everything worked out good is walking downstairs and uh, he's renovating downstairs he said he's hungry so I said let me make him nice breakfast he said he want this one so that's what I'm making I'll make two for him and I'll make one for myself
let us go and give the food. This is what he's doing. He's framing the basement. Hi, sir. <laughs> the workman. Oh my goodness, here's your food. See? He's trying to put a bedroom down here. He's walking on the isn't it too like too much? No? That's where the window will be. And that's the window over there. Ah, oh, Jason is making mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, right? Or macaroni pie. It's supposed to be macaroni pie. Macaroni pie. What's wrong? No, but this is not how to make macaroni pie, Jason. How do I make macaroni pie then? Macaroni pie, you're not supposed to melt all the cheese in there. I melt all the cheese in here. I'm putting cheese on top. Yeah, but what I'm saying, you're not supposed to. All the cheese that you're putting, you're not supposed to. But anyhow, just make it the way you. You know how to. Parmesan cheese. No, it's just. I don't think this is Parmesan cheese. It's not Parmesan cheese. Yeah. We are getting down to the wire. You guys can't see me. I have to squat because this my tripod is so short. And I'm cutting this pineapple. It's very ripe and so sweet. I love pineapple. I die for pineapple. I'm just putting the food together. We're setting the table. It's past five o'clock. I'm on track. Okay. Uh, Jason made mashed potatoes. Uh, we haven't tasted our turkey, but you're going to see it soon. Abby Victoria is making no, Jason made macaroni pie, he calls it macaroni pie. I don't even know if it qualifies as macaroni pie, it's probably called baked mashed potatoes. And uh, Victoria is making mashed potato. And did I say mashed potato? No, Jason made macaroni pie or baked mashed potato baked mac and cheese yeah baked mac and cheese and um, victoria is making mashed potatoes this is what is cooking our turkey is done i'm just gonna put these ones together the fruits and a little bit of salad and we will eat pineapple is so sweet it's very ripe
trying to make a uh, what is it called? Gravy? Gravy, yes, gravy. Why Victoria is fighting with this one? <laughs> is somebody going to eat this? Hold on. Oh goodness. The chef has to try and fill. Hold on, hold on. This thing that you're making. Move a little bit quicker. Alright guys, welcome and welcome to our Thanksgiving Wait, dinner. No, no. Okay. Welcome to our Thanksgiving dinner. I want to begin by saying thank you Lord for your blessings upon us. Thank you for a day like this where we can take out time to uh, eat with one another but most importantly to to remember some people in our life to be thankful to and to you thank you thank you for a bountiful harvest yes we didn't plant any of this but if the farmers who who feed us are not there to plant we're not going to have anything to eat but even if we had the farmers to plant and you did not bring rain or the sun or all the things that makes the plant and the crops to grow if you did not make it possible, it would not be possible, even if all of us are farmers. So we want to say thank you, Lord, and thank you to all the people in our lives in one way or another that has impacted us. The first bite it is to you guys, my subscribers. Thank you all for all your support. And I want to ask you guys, what are you guys thankful for? Anybody want to go? Go. Go? Okay, Victoria, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family and the food that we prepared today and that we have a place to live. Mm, that's right. I'm thankful for this house. Thank you. I'm thankful for my beautiful family, <laughs> for God keeping us safe and keeping us healthy. I'm providing for this bunk before meal where we can sit together and enjoy. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for I'm thankful that we live in this country and we get to I get they let me do many things. I'm thankful that we have food like this to eat and we have time that we can sit down together and celebrate. Yes. You guys dig in. I want to I want to get my results. That's too much. I don't know, however. Oh, I want I want um uh, I want to get what is it called? Jason get a knife for to cut this one. Oh yeah, the gravy. I didn't bring the gravy yet. I have some and Lord I want to pray for my subscribers. There are so many people who might be is this thing is hot? Okay, there are, there are so many people who might be watching us. There are so many people who might be watching us, but they don't have to eat. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you will meet everybody. Victoria, that's too much. That you will make you will meet everybody at their place of need and provide for them according to their needs oh lord okay. Use, put, a, put a fork and then so i'll just go down the middle and then i'll take some pieces let me see but I want to take something with it. Oh, I didn't take a picture. Hey! I took Mom, you you took a picture of this one? Yeah. Okay. Actually, let me get one more. Okay, get one more. Hold on, Victoria. Hold on. I took a picture of like the whole thing like this. If I guess. Okay, just this one. Okay. Oh, it looks burnt. Come. Okay. Three, five, take. There you go. I got a picture of the turkey. Oh, 
Alright. You want talking? I want to cut it. Ooh, it looks. It, it looks tender. Yeah, it looks tender. This is the cutting. Who wants this one? I want this one. You want this one? Okay, bring your bring your plate. Where's my fork though? I'm using your fork. This piece? Okay. What, which way do you want? I want this drumstick. Chai! Jason! Ha! This boy. <laughs> I know. Are you gonna fit? This is huge. It's huge, but that's all. I'm not gonna do Jesus Christ. Guys, do you see that? Now, which part do you want? The breast? Bring your plates. Can I have stuffing? I told you the stuffings are vegetable. Let me yeah, give you one. I, I tried them, I like it. Okay, then I'm gonna give you. So I want you guys to give me what is it called? Your verdict. What's that? For the, For the turkey. What do you think? Is it seasoned enough? Is it tender enough? I haven't tried it yet. Good. I didn't put all the the stuff and I ended up putting it in the garbage. But in the garbage? Yeah. Because it looks so it looks <laughs> gonky to me. I have a little bit more stuff. Stuff! Finish the one you have! But I have I wanna get what do you want? The stuffing is just vegetable. It's fine. Okay, bring it. Okay, everybody wants stuffing now. I don't even put that much. That's huge. I know, right? Okay, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's still anything left for this coffee. Well, what do you think? Sorry? Mm -hmm. Good? Tender? Seasoned? Guys, you had it! My coffee is good! How do you go for stand up? There you go. How do you guys like uh, Victoria's mashed potatoes? I have to try them. Huh? What do you want? That's good. No, I'm going to like my mashed potatoes. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm going to take that yet. Okay. Mommy, have you started eating yet? It's okay. I have all day to start eating. Let me take part of. I don't know which part this is. Wow, it's very, very tender. It is falling apart. And I only cooked it for how many hours? Like six hours? What? Yeah. Come on, Jason. You don't need to put it like that. I know. I know. Can I put some of my chicken? I need turkey. I need to eat some of the breast. Oh my god, you guys need to let me eat too. Come, bring your thing. Mommy, you are telling me. Okay, bring yours with Abigail if you want some. Okay. Okay guys, I think I am going to leave you guys now. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch up to this point, we are going to see you guys in the next video. And my prayer for you is that God will continue to bless you in many ways that does not even make logical sense to you. 
uh, wherever you whatever you're going through just keep on hoping and believing in god and he will see you through thank you for eating with us thank you for spending the um cooking with us and spending some a little bit of our thanksgiving day with us see you guys in my next video ciao bye